This episode of Addicted to Salsa is brought to you by Gabellini Dance Shoes. For more information, visit gabellini.addictedtosalsa.com. This is the Khan Podcast. My name is Anthony. And I'm Julie. Today we're going to teach you another uh, kind of hand flick around the world combination. So here we go. To get started, uh, we're going to start with a hand flick uh, with, to switch the hands. So we go forward on one, two, three. From here, we're going to do a crossbar lead with turn, except I'm going to use my right hand to stop the lady on her shoulder so she continues to face forward on the slot. Okay? So this is three. So we do five, six, seven, and then one, okay? And as you notice, I'm taking my uh, right hand, using it to stop around the shoulder, and I'm taking my left uh, foot. Instead of stepping back here on one, you wanna make sure that you cross around your foot so that you're gonna use this for leverage to actually walk uh, in front of her, okay? So let's get up to there really quick again. From here, we do one, two, three, five, six, seven, one. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna use my right hand and pull the lady back, straight back into the slot. As I, I took one here, I'm gonna use my feet to actually come in front, two and three, while I keep you know, this hand kind of to my left hand side, and I cross in front to the other side of the slot. Okay, and the lady is basically, you know, you're just doing um, a basic step now, a you know, basic uh, back step, okay? So from here, now that the lady has done three, she's gonna be taking five forward. I can lead another crossbar lead with turn and then we're gonna hook it up to a, a 180, okay? So as the lady takes forward on five, I'm gonna do five with my, my foot and take this hand and turn it to do the turn, okay? So just watch this part again. We're here on two and three. Ladies go forward on five. You start turning, turning, turning and you make sure that you lead that turn properly and put that hand over your head. Okay, so let's do that with uh, full counts. It's a pretty simple move. <laughs> so you do one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, and that's it. Now doing it on two. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, Six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, six, seven. And now for some lady styling. So we're gonna start the combination going back on one, two, and on three, he reaches out asking for our hand. And here we're gonna maintain resistance in this arm so that the lead can do whatever he wants and put us wherever he needs to for the next move. So this arm is here. You're gonna rotate your body slightly out and for your right arm, it's styled out here with the wrist tilted forward so that you maintain the line. Just a little. Okay, and here we go into the turn. And here the, the lead catches our shoulder and that allows us to do some styling with our right arm. So as we step forward on one, bending the knee and kind of sinking into it, you can release the right arm and kind of bring it around you in front. Going from a right angle to a left from the front that would look like that, so we're going down on one and styling. Then the lead is going to bring us forward on five. So as he brings us forward, going into a turn, here we spin. Next, we've got the rubber band effect going on. So something different you can do with your feet here is just instead of going with the normal footwork, you can actually step out a little bit wider than normal and you add a little bit of a syncopated step. So you go and one, two, three, and then you end it with five, six, seven on two, or on one. one. <laughs> 